So I was reading on the internet and I was reading an article about how many people have heard of the PlayStation 4 Pro. I heard about it because I love to stay on top of, you know, tech you know, technology and gaming consoles and PC and so and so forth, because that's what I love. And, you know, that's what I like to talk about. Really, it's just mostly technology. But I was reading this article and it says that only 27 percent of Americans have heard of the PlayStation 4 Pro and only 14 to 17 percent has heard of the Xbox Scorpio. So it really begs the question in this time frame of gaming consoles, given that the lifespan of a console is approximately seven to 10 years. And given how take the PlayStation 4 has already been out and how long the PlayStation 4 Pro been out, can we consider the PlayStation 4 Pro a failure? My answer is technically no. Technically no, because Sony says their sales are strong. And from all the reports I've seen, their sales have been uh, margin marginally good. It's really weird because Sony says they're happy with the sales, um, and a lot of actual reviews say that they're happy with the places for pro sales. Me personally, I am not happy with the places for console as a whole the whole entire family of the playstation 4 playstation 4 playstation 4 pro and playstation vr i am not happy with this whole mid-cycle generation upgrade that sony and microsoft are doing right now i really don't like it but let's dive down to it um me personally i tech Technically, the PlayStation 4 Pro, I can't say is a failure, but it's not a success either. It's it's not a, it's not a success. It's not a good successor to the PlayStation 4 as a whole. And in my opinion, personally, the PlayStation 4 Pro should have been the base PlayStation 4 model, you know. Um, but let's really dive down to, I'm digressing a bit, but let's really dive down to the fact that why... Only 27% of people only heard of the PlayStation 4 Pro. And why aren't these sales as strong as a lot of people think? Because Sony is not telling the truth. Um, I was watching a lot of you know videos and reading a lot of articles. And they're actually merging PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 4 Pro sales. And they're just calling it PlayStation 4 sales. It's very, very rare that I saw them separating sales. So let's break it down. Um, one thing. The places of 4 Pro, you almost find none of it in stores. I mean, you go to Toys R Us, you go to Walmart, you go to Target, you go to Best Buys, and it's only PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 4 Slip. Not really PlayStation 4 Pro. I mean, really, let's really break it down to it. What advertising has Sony done with the PlayStation 4 Pro? None. None whatsoever. Xbox was killing it with the Xbox One Slim and talking about how much better it is than PlayStation 4. And Nintendo is just killing it with the Switch commercials and the Switch advertising. Mitt. And the Switch is just becoming a hell of competition right now for Sony and Microsoft. But what about the PlayStation 4 Pro? I mean, for all of the upgrades Sony claims the PlayStation 4 is over the original PlayStation 4, the Pro is over the original I mean, wouldn't there be a lot of advertisement? Because wouldn't you want people to go buy the upgraded model and not stick with the original? You know, common sense. But really, there's really no advertisement to it whatsoever. There's no advertisement. I mean, how are you going to expect people to buy a product when you don't put it out there hard? When you don't put it out there enough to get the buzz going? Sony just relied on the success and word of mouth, which was not really a good strategy. I mean, look at Microsoft and Nintendo. They knew the chips were down. They knew they were, they were behind. And they really stepped up their game with the marketing, with the advertisement. And, and it paid off. Sony did not do that. You know, um, and it really begs the question, you know, do people need a PlayStation 4 Pro? The answer is no, really. You know, and... I mean, to Americans, really, and how the American economy is and how Americans play video games, they don't need a PlayStation 4 Pro. The average consumer doesn't need a PlayStation 4 Pro because, you know, everything else just plays fine on the regular PS4. And they don't see the need, the necessity to want a PlayStation 4 Pro. And that was one of the big concerns. The second part is it was almost almost impossible to find. You know, that was another thing. So even if they wanted one, you know, they're... Getting it was pretty limited, but um, 
you know, why did Sony create the PlayStation 4 Pro? I mean, let's really look at it. Um, you know, PlayStation 3's lifespan was seven years. It was seven years later, Sony was like, crap, we haven't made a new console. We, you know, we got to upgrade. So they came out with the PlayStation 4. And it wasn't the console a lot of people wanted, a lot of gamers wanted. Console gamers, at that point in time, they wanted full 1080p, 60 frames per second. That's what a lot of gamers wanted. That's what a lot of gamers at the time said that they wanted. And that was a lot of articles and stuff like that I read at the time where people were wanted 1080p, 60 frames per second. No more, you know, 720, no more 720 upscales. Full native 1080p, 60 frames per second. And that's not what they got. You know, that's not what they got. They got either 900p, 30 frames per second, 1080p, 30 frames per second. But, you know, they got a hish hosh of all these different resolutions and, and upscales and weird effects that make it look like 1080p. But they did not get full, true 1080p, 60 frames per second like they wanted. So then... After all the complaining and moaning and complaining, 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 Sony was like, you know what? We're going to do a mid-cycle upgrade because fans aren't satisfied. And that's when they came out with the PlayStation 4 Pro, an upgraded model of the PlayStation 4 that could do better, you know, better performance. And if you had a 4K TV, could do 4K. Not true 4K, not native 4, 4K, but but. But for some games, it will bump up the graphics to 4K if you had a 4K TV, you know, and they had to pay premium price for it. It was it was about the same price as already the PlayStation 4 and the slip model, too. It was the same same price. But that's it. There was no advertisement whatsoever. So is the PlayStation 4 Pro a failure? In my opinion, no. Is it a success? No. You know, it's in that weird middle line where it was successful but not to the point of successful successful but it wasn't a letdown either it was like this weird middle child and you know sony has a lot of ground to come out with you know especially with the rumors of playstation 5 already coming out in the next maybe two or three years so very 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 weird time for the gaming community guys once again, guys, what do you think? Do you think the PlayStation 4 Pro is a failure? Is this is it a success? Comment down below and, you know, like, subscribe, share this video, and have an awesome day.